I didn't know it. Let the meeting come to order. Thank you, George. Yeah. <laughs> okay, thank you all for being here. Um, our first item of business is to review our final pay application uh, in the amount of one million three hundred twenty thousand nine sixty seven and forty nine cents. And I put together a reconciliation because it's hard to follow, but only one hundred and thirty thousand dollars odd was for work done during the period. A million one ninety is basically money going back to the contractors for retainage. And if I'm right, George, this will close out our account entirely. That's correct. Yep. Um, does anybody have any questions about this? I mean, there, there was very little work that was done. They said 130,000, mainly done by Ferguson Plumbing, Mechanical, and Electric. Uh, actually, they, they were just putting in their old bills. And then Sean's Lawn did something as well. So. So is there literally no work left to be done? Much no, less no. is at zero? Zero. This, this, will, this will be yeah. the final pay application, okay. nothing yeah. left. And all of the other bills, all the soft cost bills have been paid to. Right. So we're, we are literally done. Okay. Uh, does anybody have any questions? If not, I'll entertain a motion to approve this pay application. Motion. Do we have a second? From Dan, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you very much. Um, Jen Chernesky, could I be with us tonight? Yes, I don't know if you. Yes, Sean Brown just joined as well. Sean Brown, okay. Can you hear us, Sean? Marcy's up there. Yeah, no, I can hear you. I'm sorry, I had a very difficult time connecting in for whatever reason. Well, you weren't alone. <laughs> you weren't alone. Um, so far, the amount of money that we've received from the state, uh, I put that in, in the report, but because Jen can't be with us today, but it's uh, three million eight hundred and twenty-one thousand nine hundred and four dollars. The expectation is we'll go up to maybe as much as four point two million dollars. Um, but what happens is that the state always holds back a percentage of money, percentage until they complete their audit. When that will be completed, you and I will probably not even be in Darien anymore. I don't know. It'll be, it'll be faster than that. But it, it will probably be a, a year or so, I would imagine, before they finally fi finalize everything. So that's why in the report I showed how much we, we currently have received back from the state. I put together a project review, um, and there's a lot of data in here, but I thought probably the more meaningful part uh, of, the, of the review was the, uh, the key objectives that we met, um, and I thought that, I'll just go over the, 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 I'll go over the headlines real quick, that we wanted to consolidate the district-wide early learning program into one place. Uh, we wanted to eliminate the portable classrooms at Oxridge, and I think that by eliminating um, by, by consolidating the ELP into Ox Ridge, we helped start the reduction of portables at, at the other schools. We wanted to build sufficient classroom space to provide for future enrollment growth. <laughs> and we built, for, as I pointed out, for 428 kindergarten through fifth grade students and up to 135 ELP students. However, today we already have 523 K through five students and 104 ELP. So thank God we made enough room because according to our calculations, using the Board of Education's uh, standards, um, we would have ability to put in 616 students K through five. And I'm not sure how much of the, the DLC, maybe you can help us out, uh, Katie. They, they, we, we built two DLC rooms, but they tried to consolidate much of the DLC at, at Oxford as well. Well, so the entirety of the DLC program is now housed at Oxford, whereas there. before it used to be, um, there was also some classrooms at Henley as well. At Henley, so they brought that together as well. Yes. Okay. Which is one of the reasons why probably have more students too. Um, we also, uh, the idea, I think it was really, was it uh, SLAM's idea to build the learning centers outside the classroom? Yes. I think it was. Yeah. That's turned out to be very successful. And, it, and, and we pushed the lockers to be outside the classroom. They yep. had more room in the classrooms. 
And that's worked out really well, too. Um, we developed that long bus loop. Get the buses off the road, off the driveway, certainly. And I think some of them were actually backing up on Mansfield Avenue originally. So hopefully the traffic, well, the traffic's never good there, but it's, I think it's a lot better. Um, energy savings. We met the gold standard, finally. For the <laughs> awesome. We're not going for leads. We're leads equivalent at gold, which I think is quite a standard because it exceeds what the state required. Um, we built a full-size gymnasium, uh, a middle school size gymnasium, so that the Y and other programs could use the, uh, the, uh, the gym when the school wasn't in session. We built a cafeteria large enough to accommodate um, two classes per sitting. At first, that might have not worked out, but Rusty worked with the fire marshal, and we now were able to seat 200 students per sitting, um, which means we only have to have three waves rather than six waves. And, and I was told by Kevin Monroe that that's what they're doing this year. I, I don't know exactly, but he told me that's what their plan was. Um, I would also just add to the cafeteria that we also made a major shift in sustainability with the cafeteria moving from all disposable into reinstating reusables and dishwashers, um, which is now setting a model um, for the other district for the other district schools. I to forgot follow. to mention that, and they, but that that's in place. Yes, that's great. We spoke about it at the finance subcommittee this morning. You did, did. okay. Uh, and finally, a small issue we brought the project in on time and two million one hundred eighteen thousand eight hundred twenty two dollars under budget hooray so we split it amongst you the, yeah. <laughs> yeah. isn't that what's in the bag you brought us yeah. <laughs> yeah that's a, i don't think i brought a big filled out a 47.89 to withdraw that much from the bag um <laughs> uh, the unique design features were provided by by kemp and, and i thought it I just summarized what they have here. I think their slam is pretty pleased with what the outcome has been because it sort of set a standard. I'm sure that slam is advertising that around the state as they would. Um, and I, are there any questions about our report? The details of the financials that are in the back, they're probably too many numbers for everybody, but at least it's all there and I spent hours making sure we had the numbers all done. And thanks to Jen Chernisky for constantly updating the, the payments. So we had a complete record of all the payments. That's how I was able to, to do all this checking. Oh my God. Um, one thing I will say is that when the project was completed last, uh, when the school opened officially uh, in September of last year, there were still some things to be done. And I, I called them on, on the sheet there, um, uh, project extras uh, added for $137,000. A lot of it had to do with the work. Once we decided the embankment slide had to go, we had to redo that whole hill, put fencing in, and then we realized we had to put a, a concrete uh, pathway next to the school for the snow plow and stuff like that. We also finally got a wayfaring sign in. Um, and But the other things that, that don't show up with $130,000 is we uh, authorized cell phone boosters in, in the entire school because they couldn't, people couldn't pick up the, the, the signals. That was $97,000. And that, I buried that into the uh, technology budget rather than pulling it out separately. So that was sort of does, doesn't show up as an extra, but we did that. Um, and I will say that Jeff Adams of the district saved us a lot of money in the technology area. If I put it all together, it's over $450,000 compared to the budget. So kudos to Jeff for really helping us out. Um, are there any comments, any questions? We also had to redo the loading dock trash area oh, yeah. because the only way a 40-foot truck could get in was to go up onto the sidewalk yep. and turn in. So that, was part of, that, was, that was part of the $137,000. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but those were extras that we did. Um, and we thought they were worthwhile doing, but we still brought it in under budget, thank God. Um, any hey, questions? Hey, hey Kip, can I, Kip, just can I say one thing quick? Because I have to jump into another meeting. Yep. Uh, just sorry, I got to leave early, but I did want to just say that uh, you know to the full committee that it's been an absolute pleasure 
working on this project. I mean, the, the effort and the collaboration of the committee and the town has made this, you know, five-year project a success for us. And certainly, you know, we welcome any opportunity to cross paths again. And, you know, if there's anything in the, the wake of tonight's meeting that you need from us, you know, we're not going anywhere. So it's really been a true pleasure. And I really want to thank everyone for, for partnering with us on the job. Well, we thank uh, ONG and AP for their work on this project as well. And I hope you can say the same thing in another five years. <laughs> Good luck. Better not be five. And I, I think Andy's sort of skating out the door. He doesn't have to worry about this anymore, right? Okay. Okay. Let's see you. Bye, Dave. Bye, Dave. Thanks. Okay. Bye. Uh, many thanks to all of you, the committee, uh, the professionals, the ex officio members, and especially to our support here in the selectman's office with Linda O'Leary, Karen Dunn, and George Aroli, who just came in with computer expert, and I mentioned Jeff Adams. Um, anything else anybody wants to add right now? I'd also like to make sure that we, everyone knows the efforts that the staff in this building put in. And it wasn't, as one of them said, I'm just doing my job. It wasn't that. They really worked with us on a timely basis, other than the CO, <laughs> to, to get this thing done. And when we needed help, they were fantastic. Fantastic. And Randy Geraldo, who's over in London, was a guy who really did most of that yep. permitting work, which was terrific. Um, hearing nothing else, Rusty, would you like to? Uh, sure, I'd like uh, to propose a motion to approve the closeout of the Oxbridge School Project number 0350117N as completed. I'll, All sec those I'll second that motion. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Anybody Aye. opposed? The motion passes. And our final motion is to uh, report to the Board of Selectmen that we're done. Our work is completed and we wish to formally be dismissed from any further responsibility for this project. <laughs> um, can I have a second for that motion? Rusty. All in favor? Aye. Aye. I wish. Aye. I want to thank you all very much for your work, for your patience, and uh, I think you should be very proud of what we've got done here. Apparently, the parents like it. It's, it's a wonderful project. Um, I echo a lot of the conversations and thoughts that uh, Dave just put forth, but uh, you know, you also have to put it through a pandemic, that, like what was going on there. And at the end of the day, I think, um, you guys uh, in your selection of the professionals and the ability to build trust, you know, throughout the project, you really created it just such a nice working environment, even when the working environment was kind of unknown, difficult to work in. And I, I really commend that to uh, you all, the town, and everybody who got involved in this thing. It was just, you know, stuff happens, but you know, everything was, it was positive, like, let's fix it. Get, let's figure it out and get done, right? And, and we don't always see that. And uh, so I uh, really appreciate the, the opportunity and uh, how you guys were able to organize, you know, a large project through a, you know, sophisticated process, both state and locally, and have it come out as well as it did. So it's a real feather in your guys' cap. Thank you, Thank Andy. You. That's great. Yeah, and I, I kind of want to reiterate what Dave and Andy said. So, you know, between the schools and, and Darianne, I've been involved, you know, over eight years. And then with ONG, probably done close to 15 or 16 schools and maybe worked in 11 towns. And then this is by far the best, you know. But it's like bittersweet I'm not at HHR, but, you know, it would have been nice to wrap it you, up to there. You want to go there, George? You know, unfortunately, <laughs> that, and I'm not sure Did about the middle school. <laughs> you know? no, wait a minute. But, you but by far, the, the best town, the townspeople, the building committees, everybody. I don't, I don't think I've worked with a better group at all with my 31 years at uh, ONG. Mm -hmm. We've enjoyed it, George. Yeah. George. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. We've enjoyed it. Uh, Before we adjourn. Uh, I'd like to recognize our leader and chairman for his unbelievable work. For every hour that we put in, he put in 50, 
Yeah. All right, 25. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, without someone pulling, holding this whole thing together and all the participants in it, it would not have happened. And this is the guy that led the charge. It was easy because everybody, everybody <laughs> picked up and did things. I mean, everyone stepped in and did their job, did whatever, whatever we asked them to do and whatever they wanted to do. And that was great. I appreciate all your talent. <laughs> I'd also like to leave everybody who is a member of the committee with a little memento. Uh, I had nothing to do over the weekend, so I calculated the number of days since our first meeting. <laughs> 2,282 days and 62 minutes. Five o'clock, February 4th, uh, 2019, That's right. a decade ago. So. I've got a little memento for everybody to have. Thank you for putting this together, Rusty. Oh, Rusty. Thank you, Rusty. It's really nice. I'm afraid you show this in my house. My wife would I'd say, is that what you did for five and a half years? <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Thank you. Wow. Awesome. wow. We, have a, we have one for Sean. And yeah, I've got a couple more. I'll leave them there. Okay, uh, Marcy and Sean, your your memento will be in the selectman's office. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much, everybody. With that, do we have a motion for a final adjournment? Yeah. Sure. Everybody. Katie is. <laughs> Andy, you can't make the motion. <laughs> or Katie, and then. Duke seconds. We're Second. all in favor. All good. Uh, thank you all very much. Andy, thank, thank you. you, George. Thank, thank you, Andy. Thank you. Great stuff. That was really well cool. Done. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, that was really nice. Thank you. Beautiful. Uh,